Hello, and thank you for visiting. My name is Steve Alexander, the Superintendent of Public Works for the Township of Elk. The following video will describe how we built an extension attachment for our front end loader. We began by sketching out some ideas. By utilizing our pallet fork attachments, we built an extension of our bucket to increase the amount of mulch that we were able to move. As you see, the pallet fork attachments were attached to the bucket as they would normally be used. For a cutting edge, we installed a snowplow blade which was bolted onto the pallet fork themselves with grade 8 hardened bolts. As you can see, we raised each edge so that we were able to attach a side rail from the top to the bottom of the new cutting edge. By utilizing plywood for the surface, we cut our costs basically in half instead of using steel. We had to notch out the areas where the pallet forks were attached to the bucket so that the wood would rest up against the original cutting edge on the tractor bucket itself. As you see here, we also installed plywood sides to reduce the amount of spillage when loading. And here you see the final product. We also installed reflective material on the sides to assist when in transport. Our first project began at the Elk Township Recreation Park where we had 200 yards of playground certified material to move. Here are some photos of the playground prior to our mulching project. By law we are required to maintain at the minimum a 9 inch thickness of playground mulch. The mulch must be certified for compaction resistance. The mulch provides a protective surface in the event that a child should fall from any of the equipment. And here you will see how our mulch mover works. By utilizing this attachment, we were able to increase our moving abilities by four and five times the original bucket size. We also were able to save the taxpayers approximately $1,900 versus hiring this project out to a contractor. And here you will see how we scattered different piles throughout the playground area so that they can be flattened out.
Our other park, Ina Bright Hall Memorial Park on Stanger Avenue, also received 100 yards of material. And here you will see the finished product. I would like to take this opportunity to thank you for stopping by and watching this short video. Have a great day.